Hey guys, welcome back. This is Emmy with Android Power. So in today's video, we are taking a look at Android Q Beta GSI for all triple enabled devices. Android Q Beta from the Pixel to Excel has now been ported and can be flashed on any triple enabled device. I am extremely thankful to this very smart developer Irfan Abdi for porting this GSI. This is not SGSI, so we do not need any kind of patches with it. This is the same developer which ported ROMs like Oxygen OS, One UI, Zen UI, and now this Android Q beta in just one day. So all credits go to Irfan Abdi for this. On some devices, this GSI is booting on Oreo vendors like Nokia or Motorola phones, which is some kind of weird. Right now, I am installing this on my Redmi Note 5 Pro. But before moving ahead, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it and hit the bell icon to be our notifications fed. I saw many videos on YouTube and some of YouTubers are saying that this is stable. So this is a completely false statement. There is nothing stable here. This thing is only for development and testing purpose. You can't even use this GSI even a one day because everything is broken here. But yes, it will get better day by day. This is the first beta and you won't get stable build of Android Q until 6 beta builds are tested. So moving forward to the topic, this is the boot animation, the same boot animation from the Android Q from Pixel to Excel. On the starting, you will get a pop-up message like there is the internal problem with your device. Ignore it, that's not an issue. But as I told you, everything is broken on this GSI and this is only for testing purpose for Android Q. As you can see the launcher keeps on crashing and as of now you can't fix this. Also if you guys have noticed, brightness is also broken so there is no way to set the brightness to low. So this is the actual settings panel. It's just same as Android Pie but few options added over here. I will talk about this later. First just go to about phone and as you can see version is android q and security patch level is from march 5 2019 which is the latest patch but there is no new easter egg as of now it's the same easter egg from android pi a tip for all of you guys is to install a third party launcher with all other files and transfer through otg or pc so you can test other things because the stock launcher won't work for you moving forward to the topic this is the notification and quick settings panel as of now looks ugly but yes we can change the icons. For this, tap on build number several times until you see a pop-up message like now you are a developer. Now go to developer options and here in this menu of android Q, few things are added. For example if you scroll down to bottom, you have this new option called theming. Finally you can use theming in android Q, which is the most requested feature. Now as you can see you can change the accent color with light or dark theme. So this is a nice addition. You can also change the fonts in Android. As of now, there are not too much options for fonts, but yes, you can change the font. You can also change the icons in this menu. I don't like this stock one. So let me change it to teardrop icon. And as you can see, it's look nice now. You also need to install updated Google Play service APK to avoid some issues. You can't use file manager from the app drawer. So go to settings, then files, then use your file manager and install the Google Play services APK. Android Q also has Wi-Fi sharing option. As you can see, there is an option to scan QR code, but there is also a bug with Wi-Fi. You can't connect to a secure Wi-Fi connection. And if you want to connect to Wi-Fi, make sure there is no security on that Wi-Fi. Overall with stable build, you can share or scan Wi-Fi, which is a great add-on in Android Q. If we go to display then wallpapers, there are some wallpapers from pixel to excel. Unfortunately, you have to wait to use all this stuff. We have this new option of privacy in system settings. In this menu, you can set app permissions, enable or disable stuff on the lock screen, check ad related stuff and use google autofill service or more. If you go to accessibility menu, there is a new option called time to read. With this, you can choose how much time you will take to read a message and after a specific time the message will go itself. This is also a great feature. In Redmi Note 5 Pro, brightness is also broken so you can't fix this as of now. So you have to wait for this. Also in Android Q, there is a some new option to customize notification. 
If you swipe on notification to left, you will see a bell icon. If you tap on this, you can customize the notification to show silently, keep alerting or you can completely block the notification. Now that's it for the features of Android Q. Now coming to the installation part. As you can see, I am on MIUI 10 with unlocked bootloader and recovery installed. So download all the files from the video description and backup all of your data because this process will wipe all of your data. So switch off your device and hold the volume up and power button together simultaneously for few seconds to go into recovery mode. Now we are in recovery mode. Go to wipe, then advanced wipe, then wipe system, catch, delvic catch, vendor and data. Now swipe to wipe. This will wipe all of your data and system. Now again go to wipe and click on format data and type yes. This will wipe your internal storage so backup all of your files in a secure place. Now transfer all the files from your PC or OTG that you have downloaded earlier to install Android Q. Then click on install and select Mac AOSP vendor and flash this Mac AOSP vendor to use as a vendor. Now go to wipe and select system, delvic catch, catch, data and swipe to wipe. Do not wipe vendor as we have installed Mac AOSP vendor to install Android Q. Then tap on install button and then select install image. Now select the A only image of Android Q if you have an A partition device. For AB partition device like Mi A1 or Poco phone, use AB image. Then select as a system and flash it. You need to extract the zip file to get this image file. So don't confuse yourself. Now go to mount and mount system and vendor. Then go to install and select permissible zip and flash it. Once done, again mount system and vendor. Then flash fix zygote and flash it. For the last time, you have to mount system and vendor again and then flash media fix zip for wired and voila you are done with installing Android Q GSI on your triple enable devices. Read all the steps from the video description and watch it carefully before installing. This is the foolproof method to install a Android Q GSI on your device. So that's it for now. Hit the like button if you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.